shore to the city. It's not just rain and wind we're talking about, but also some snow later today. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is along uh, Kelly Drive this morning with the latest on the conditions there. Good morning again, Jan. Hey, Jim, did I see you with an umbrella in the studio? Yes. I don't even need an umbrella out here right now this Touché. morning, at least not right now, right? Well, when I was driving in right around 3 o'clock this morning, I needed an umbrella. The rain was coming down very steadily, very hard at times. But right now, over the last 90 minutes or so, really haven't been seeing more than a light drizzle. You can see live out here this morning that we do have some ponding on the sidewalks and the roads are wet. But it's just really light rain right now and much too mild for snow. It is now 41 degrees, so we have fallen a couple of degrees. But this is what we're dealing with, a light, a light rain and wet roads. If you look at the video, you can see that the rain was coming down heavier overnight, and PennDOT is ready for whatever Mother Nature throws our way. They are now standing by. Unfortunately, they weren't able to pre-treat the roads ahead of this storm because it's been just too wet. Too much rain has been falling. Still, they're ready for whatever. They're calling this a snow event, even though... They may have to focus on heavy rain, uh, a lot of wind, and possible flooding. Take a listen. High winds is going to affect visibility, so conditions could be pretty bad out there. And you know, with a, a whole day of rain and precipitation, uh, I expect uh, driving to be rather slow. Each county manager uh, on our state highway system knows their flood-prone areas. They know to what areas to check out. And of course, these conditions are forecasted to change. So when this rain does turn over to snow, PennDOT says, don't you worry, they have you covered. They still have 80 tons of salt to work with. We were reporting live along Kelly Drive this morning. Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim Hell, back into you.